Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am back from Walt Disney and I'm back with you and I'm back from illness. So I am very happy to be here with you. I've got so much to show you from my Walt Disney World trip. I've got so many video videos to edit for you. So many things I want to talk to you about and show you as hauls. But for today, let's get started with some Halloween specials that I found while I was on my trip in Walt Disney World recently. The first thing I want to show you is Stitch Popcorn Bucket! Ah! There were a few things we knew were going to be out for Halloween when we were there. The first was the infamous, inf uh, inf infamous? infamous Mini Winifred Sanderson Sipper. And we were planning to be in that queue, my sister and I. Now, unbeknownst to me, I do, I do have it. I was very, very lucky. My sister ended up, uh, too long a story to explain why, but she ended up over in Walt Disney World, like literally the week before we went. And um, basically she ended up in a queue with a very good friend of hers and waited for about three hours to secure our mini sippers. And so I'm so excited. I was a bit disappointed at the time not to be uh, getting involved in actually experiencing the queue, but it's given that she waited three hours, I'm so happy that I was able to spend the party doing party things like trick-or-treating and other such stuff. Um, so I'm very grateful to her. I'm waiting for my popcorn bucket to, um, sorry, my sipper to come to me because I didn't have enough room in my luggage to take it uh, from hers and bring it back with me so it's got to be sent separately. So there was that. We also knew that the alien sipper was going to be out. Now I wasn't interested in that one, that was kind of the alien from um, Toy Story dressed up as Buzz Lightyear with a little pumpkin. She did get that, my sister. Um, and then while we were there, this dropped. Now my understanding is that this was originally meant to be a cruise line, so this was a bit of a surprise. And um, it was only available at the not so scary Halloween parties in Magic Kingdom. So I did get to experience a bit of a queue and this one was much shorter. It was only 45 minutes from the two popcorn stations either side of the castle. We went to the one on the right as you head up towards the castle as you have it in front of you. And um, that was that was well worth doing. So they actually opened the queue at 45 minutes past five, so quarter to six in the evening, um, which meant we were through very, very quickly. And it was $26 plus uh, tax for the popcorn bucket and popcorn. Interestingly, my sister did buy this without popcorn and they still charged her for the popcorn because when you look at the itemized receipt, it actually shows like $20 for the popcorn bucket and then at 560 something for the popcorn. So let's, yeah, I don't really know what happened there, but never mind. Um, so here it is, oh, Stitch Popcorn Bucket. So excited. He is absolutely gorgeous. So he is big, as you can see, he's bigger than my head. Uh, well, I think he's bigger than my head. I don't think I've misjudged how big my head is. But he's lovely. He's got this real smile. He's not scary. And his head opens like this, which I discovered accidentally when half my popcorn fell out. Fortunately, it was already in a bag. And there's actually, I don't think there's a huge amount of popcorn in there, unless it, it does go right down to his body, actually. And I have eaten a little bit, but it wasn't fully uh, filled when I got it, I don't think. Not not what I would call fully filled anyway. So there he is, that kind of clicks into place. He's got his little pumpkin, which is absolutely adorable. And I, uh, the one thing I wish about this is that it actually lit up, it, but it doesn't. Um, but it is adorable. And then you've got the lanyard says Disney Parks on it. It's got pictures of Stitch, little white bats, purple bats, grey bats, and then orange and green candy and some other types of candy as well. Um, spider webs and it is really really cute. So I'm very glad we got these even if they were a bit of a nuisance to carry around for the rest of the night. But there he is in his little amazing little um, Halloween vampire outfit. And then he is not really much detail in the way of the side or the back, um, but the front is so sweet. He is lovely with his smiley pumpkin. I mean, really, bless him. So that was the first thing. And we, 
he wasn't at the we had two parties that we went to he wasn't available at the first one which would have been on the uh 14th of october he was then available at the second we went to which was on the 21st um and now i have heard rumors that you can actually get hold of him at animal kingdom so it might be worth if you are in the vicinity and you want one of these have a look in animal kingdom uh tough to be a bug was one of the popcorn stands that i read had it so that would be worth having a look at and he's very very sweet so very happy to have my stitch there he is. So that's the first thing. And then the second thing that I ended up with, um, I should mention the other uh, popcorn bucket that was available was the pumpkin with Mickey. And, and I I didn't really think about getting, I wasn't going to get one of those. And then they were like, oh, is that it? When I asked for just one stitch popcorn bucket because it was limited to two per person and I only took one. And then I didn't buy Mickey as well. And clearly that was a surprise. Um, but the Mickey one did light up, which actually was really cool. And I think if I'd have realized that he lit up at the point that I bought this one, I probably would have got Mickey as well, which would have been problematic when it came to getting back because uh, I did have to share some of my luggage amongst my family and I am waiting for it to come over from the southeast of England. So at some point I may be reunited with it, but um, it was a bit of a family uh, uh, team effort to get my luggage all back because I bought quite a lot. Anyway, there's Stitch. Other thing that I saw, and I just saw this kind of walking around the park, so I just saw a few people had it, and that was actually, oh, hello, hello, I'm still here. <laughs> um, and that was actually a Donald sipper. Now, my mum approached someone who had it for me to ask where they'd got it, and they said Walmart. Um, so I was then very surprised when on our absolutely last day, literally like be hours before getting in a car to go to the um, airport and get on a flight back, I found this in the hotel. And I actually found this at French Quarter and it is a Donald Duck candy corn sipper. So he has an inbuilt straw at the back which opens like that and then it's a bit of a weird straw. It's very flexible and kind of squidgy and it kind of gets pushed in when you, when you, sorry, you can't see that very well. When you close the back, it gets pushed in. So that's a bit strange, but I don't plan on using this for actual drinks. So I got, um, you, you did get a drink with this, but I just got an extra cup and, and used the fountain that way. Um, Cause I knew I was getting on a flight and I didn't want sticky stuff in my uh, suitcase. So this one was 19.99 neither of the cast members on the till actually seemed to know where they were meant to get hold of these so they just gave me the one on display which was fine i'd far rather that than um not be able to have it because they didn't know where to get them from and they weren't allowed to sell the one on display so happy days uh this one says on it disney parks this is a purple um lanyard for this and it's got donald with his candy corn and some ghosts some of whom have little hats as well which are very cute so he is quite a lot smaller than stitch and he does have a flat base um which is useful because he's a sipper so that makes sense um doesn't come off you can't uh, just stand him as he is but if i was going to put him in a halloween display next year that's quite helpful as well so you can fully expect to see these guys next year um and yeah i just think he's adorable he's got his little trick-or-treating uh pumpkin as well which actually i've got a uh, a mickey one like this what do you know what I'm realising? There's lots of stuff I didn't get out to decorate behind me. So next year, when I'm not planning to go away and I'm hopefully not ill in the lead up to all of it, um, there's going to be major, major decorations underway behind me. So there you go. Here he is with little head sticks out from there. It's so cute. <laughs> And he's got, I just love this. I think it's great. So I'm super happy. I don't know if they are still available at Walmart, but I'm super happy that he did reappear um, at the hotel and that I was able to get him because I think he's adorable. And maybe I'll put a drink in him at some point to acknowledge his actual purpose. In the meantime, I did use him as I was coming back. Um, because you can lift the top part of the candy corn off like that, I did actually put some of my not so scary party Halloween trick or treating candy in there to bring it back because it was a a good way to make use of the space i suppose no i was gonna say i suppose i could have put breakable things in there but actually it's not a very wide mouth so it was perfect for putting little bags of m m's into to keep them safe and, and again maximize the space i had um but 
not so good for some of the breakables which I can't wait to show you and all seem to have made it back touchwood in one piece or the amount of pieces that it should have so that's good so there you go I know Halloween was yesterday but you know the days didn't quite fall right for me to do this so I suppose I could have recorded it earlier and given it to you tomorrow but it's been a very busy week um, so I wanted to show these with you I know it's technically the first of November but I thought you'd enjoy seeing them. So thank you so much for joining me. I hope you had a wonderful Halloween. And uh, if you are a, a new viewer, then please do consider subscribing if you want to see more from me. And thank you so much for joining me. Until next time, from all of us, take care and bye for now.